title of this year's 2016 Game Jam is United We Stand, Divided We Fall. The demon. It's the blank piece of paper that needs a brilliant idea. Game Jam is a, a 48 hour event where groups of people, students and professionals alike, get together and try and develop a game around a specific subject. It's really, really important that your core concept's simple, that you don't try and create the universe, you just create the backyard. It really just pushes you um, and shows you what you need to learn in terms of game design, uh, in terms of making games. Our game is a strategy game where you have to control a small village of people going out and gathering resources. I love coming back to game jams because they're just a lot of fun. You get to make a really nice little prototype in a really short amount of time and it's just a really nice place to develop any skills. I would like to see some really creative interpretations of the brief and I want to see the participants really work together and think about how they're going to have a finished game at the end of this. The game is currently just working on the main control scheme, so once the control scheme is set up then we can work on the physics, the actual game mechanics itself. Um, we've got the procedurally generated platforms coming in and stuff, so that's the main chunk of the code out of the way, so now it's just messing about with animations and making it a bit more polished. This is day two, so we're already starting to, to feel the effects of fatigue after all night game making. You take a lump of coal and you put it under a lot of pressure and you get a diamond. That's what's happening at the Game Jam. You take game developers growing, learning their craft, lumps of coal, and you put them under extreme pressure and you see if they can become diamonds. The game is called Lantern and it is about a group of investigators who are stuck in the dark and they have a lantern that they're holding onto and it's really heavy so it moves from player to player after so many turns. We're just about to start um, writing the cards and have our first play test. Make sure it's fun, see if all our assumptions are right. The winning teams will be the ones who make sure their design is absolutely solid and spend that extra time making sure they've got a good idea that will work. Because the worst thing will be to run out of time when your game is only half finished. These are the food groups that make gaming happen. Our programme is not well and has had to go home, but Andrew Mulholland from Hunted Cow Games has stepped in, given me some basic code and sort of set me on the right track. We're almost entirely finished now. Um just a few more things to polish it up. I think we have a really solid game and even if we don't get all the stuff printed and cut out, we still have the prototype. Got two hours left and I feel excited that it's almost over but shattered and I think everyone on the team's pretty tired. Right now I feel energised, I got a lot to sleep and I'm just excited to play some of the other games. I'm planning on coming back next year because it's been a really good time and it's been interesting to be able to make a board game rather than a video game like I usually would at Jams. That's us, we're finished. We're done with our game. Are we finished our game? actually quite astounded at what some people can make in a period of 48 hours. The winner of the Murray Game Jam 2016 Digital Game Competition is... Everything is Peachy by Peacock Dreams. I was happy that we had a game that I was able to play and enjoy. So that was all I needed and then to win the competition on top of that was just amazing. It's great! Yeah. It's the first time we've won and it's Scott's first, it's game, first jam. game jam. We're going to look forward to showing the game at Expo North. Yay!